Let us do some banana pancakes today with Chef Josh Omosisi. This is a good, good, good version. I'm going to request for every new viewer, please subscribe on my YouTube channel so that you can get daily recipe update. So this version, oh, you try it out. Trust me, you're going to love it. We are going to chop some yellow bananas. You're going to use like two fingers. You're going to apply them in the blender. After applying them in the blender, we are going to apply one egg. We are going to apply one egg. We are going to apply one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. After applying them, we are going to apply some milk. Then we blend. You can also use some, some cooking cream if you want. So you are going to blend or you, you can also use water. So you are going to apply six tablespoons of wheat flour. But if you want more, you just double. You just double the ingredients. You are going to put cinnamon two pinches and mixed spices two pinches. Cinnamon two pinches and mixed spices two pinches. You are going to apply baking powder one teaspoon. We are going to apply baking powder one teaspoon. Now repeat it. If you are cooking for more people, please double these ingredients. I have given you remember if you're a new viewer please don't forget to subscribe for the for the recipe update so we're going to mix then after mixing we are going to get the the, the blended mixture we apply it in these dry ingredients that means you get the wet the wet ingredients you mix them in the dry what in the dry ingredients you have to make sure that you mix until you see everything is running when the blended mixture is done, please use the milk. Use the milk. If you don't take milk, use water. If you don't take milk, use water. Whisk until you see everything is runny. It, you, we, we need the mixture not to be too too runny, and we don't. We need the mixture not to be too too thick. So you're going to apply some vanilla essence, but make sure that you you can also use strawberry or chocolate, but make sure that you use a clear flavor. We need a flavor which is going to, which is not going to change the the color of the mixture. We need the flavor which is not going to change the color of the mixture. So I got my cup. Then I apply the what? The mixture. But you can also use a serving spoon when you are going to do this pan. So we are going to oil our pan. After oiling our pan, make sure that you first put much oil. Then after reduce the oil. I repeat, put much oil, then after reduce the oil. Then pour in the middle. Then leave it, spare it off. Pour in the middle, then leave it to spray by itself. So to know that it's ready, it is going to bring the bubbles at the top. And we need the pancake golden brown. No need of fighting for the shape when you are making this. No need of fighting for the shape. Wow, just look at that. Ah, just look at that. Just look at that. Remember, the way you see it is the way you can do it. From my kitchen to your kitchen. And you feel the taste with Chef Joshua Musisi. So we are going to apply the pancake first. After we are going to apply some honey, but if you have marble syrup, you can use marble syrup. It is also good. Then after you are going to also apply the pancake, then you apply the honey, then you apply the pancake. Another thing, you can also use the pancake syrup. So we are going to use our banana to garnish. You can try this for breakfast. Trust me, you can try it for your kids. The kids are going to ask for more. Like my son Jethro. Jethro loves the bananas so, so much. The banana pancake. So you can also try it for your kids. Trust me, the kids.